Hi, I'm Rachel, the Program Associate at Godcast, and I'm here to spend the next 180 seconds hopping around the archives of art history to talk about the importance of the art of Ruth. As you can see in our video about Ruth, she is known as a loyal and caring biblical figure. She converted to Judaism and displayed her immeasurable kindness through caring for her mother-in-law Naomi, while also creating her own family with Boaz. One of the earlier portrayals of Ruth is shown here through an illuminated manuscript, a book of parchment, gold leaf, pigment, and ink. Today we will look at two ways Ruth has been interpreted through art, along with one example of how her story directly influenced a scandalous 19th century French painting. Much like network television, biblical art tends to gravitate towards the gory, the overly sexual, and the dramatic. Ruth's story does not easily lend itself to these themes. Artists would rather paint Judith decapitating Holofernes or the twisted seduction of Lot by his daughters than show Ruth hanging out in a field. It's interesting, but throughout history, artists are unable to portray Ruth as anything less than a virtuous woman, because that's how the text portrays her too. Maybe it's because her story isn't explicit in her courtship with Boaz. Maybe it's because she's the great-grandmother of David, who was the forefather of St. Joseph, who was the husband of Mary, who was the mother of Jesus. Maybe it's because President Cleveland named his daughter Ruth and inspired the creation of a candy bar. And now for a pivotal art history moment. In 1857, Jean-Francois Millet painted three peasant women gleaning a field. At the time, it caused an outrage among the French elite since they believed the lower class did not deserve to be celebrated within fine arts. Previously, wheat gleaners had only been portrayed through virtuous images of Ruth. Through this biblical reference, Millet gives them a call for attention without neglecting their duty and livelihoods. People have argued over what exactly happened that night Ruth slept at Boaz's feet. There are some who say Ruth actually slept at his feet, and that's the end of that. Others will argue that double entendres in the text hint at more than meets the eye. Moving forward, more modern portrayals of Ruth attempt to show the duality of a woman with sexuality and an enduringly strong character. Chagall presents a series of her floating through his trademark biblical ether. The paintings represent Ruth as an independent character without diluting the loving relationship between her and Boaz. Sometimes, looking at biblical stories throughout art history can help highlight the importance of characters we may have temporarily forgotten about. This is a story of a noble woman who constantly followed her sense of duty, compassion, and love. She inspired those around her and generations after to act, create, and share.